everyone. Today the bookworms are going to be reading a history of inventions book called Computer Technology from Punch Cards to Supercomputers by Tracy Kelly. Let's get into the book. Contents: Early computers, analytical engine, code breaking machine, mainframe, video game console, personal computers, wireless world, supercomputers, future computers, timeline, glossary, further resources, and index. Early computers. Today, computers are everywhere. They are in toys, cars, and smartphones. Computers started out as machines for counting things. Some were used thousands of years ago. Abacus. The abacus was used in ancient China. Each bead stood for a different number. You put beads in rows to add up. The abacus was invented twenty five hundred years ago. Slide rule. The slide rule is a ruler. It has lines of numbers called scales. You move the scales to do equations. Punch cards. In the eighteen hundreds, a special weaving loom was invented. It used a punch card. This was a card punched with holes. It told the machine how to make patterns in the cloth. Later, the first computers used punch cards. Read on to learn about how people invented new kinds of computers. Analytical engine. The analytical engine was the first computer. It could do hard math problems. It worked using numbered wheels. These were attached to gears. First programmer. Ada Lovelace was the first computer programmer. She wrote instructions or code. The code told the analytical engine what to do. Math machine. You turned a crank. The analytical engine started up. All the gears moved. Numbers added up. It was a big machine. It was noisy too. Gears, numbers, crank. Code breaking machine. Code breakers figure out code. They try to read secret messages. The code breaking machine was like a computer. The letters of the alphabet were written around a knob or rotor. Each letter had a different code. Digital code. Alan Turing was a code breaker. He worked in World War Two. He made the bomb code breaking machine. Later, he designed a computer. It used digital or number code. Code breaking machine. The code breaking machine was electric. You put the code letters into the machine. This helped you decode or spell out messages. Rotors, letters, electric plates. Mainframe. A mainframe was a large computer. It filled up a whole room. It could do big math problems, but it worked slowly. Big companies used mainframes to keep track of business. Tape drive. Mainframes had tape drives. The tape stored data or information. It was magnetic. Electric signals made patterns on it. The drive played them back. Other parts. A mainframe had a keyboard. You could enter data. It had a screen so you could see the data. Tape drive, tape, keyboard, monitor. Video game console. Video consoles were small computers. You could play video games on them. They were the first computers most people used at home. Arcade game. Pong was an early video game. It was like tennis. People played it at places called video arcades too. You put money in the machine, then you could play the game. Game console. The Atari Twenty Six Hundred was a video game console. The console was connected to a TV screen. Each game was on a cartridge. You put the cartridge into the console. You played using a joystick. Switches, cartridge slot, joystick, console. Personal computers. 
Personal computers, or PCs, were invented in the 1980s. You could do many things with them. You could write stories. You could store pictures, too. You save them as files. Floppy disks. You saved your files on floppy disks. These had a round disk inside plastic. You used them to move files between computers, too. Popular PCs. PCs had a keyboard, so you could type in words. Words came up on the screen or monitor. You used a mouse to click on the files. The files opened. Floppy disk slot, personal computer, monitor, keyboard, mouse. Wireless world. Most computers are connected to the internet. You used to plug them into a phone socket. Now, computers use Wi-Fi. This uses invisible radio waves to search the internet. Cloud storage. Computers run out of memory, so you can store files in the cloud. This is not in the sky. It is on the internet. You can get files back anytime. Computers to go. Laptops are small PCs. They are lighter than PCs, but just as powerful. You can take them anywhere. Screen, keyboard, icons. Supercomputers. Today, computers do lots of things. They are supercomputers. They have apps for writing songs and making videos. You can watch TV and movies online. Tablets. Tablets are mini supercomputers. You can take pictures with them. You can make artwork. They will fit in your school bag. Monitors. Computer monitors have a video camera. The picture is high definition. That means good quality. You can call your friends and family. You can see their faces while you talk. Video camera, monitor, keyboard, mouse. Future computers. Computers can do so many things, but they will do even more in the future. What do you think computers will do next? Leap motion. Leap motion is a new way to use a computer. You wiggle your hands and fingers. The computer reacts to the way you move. You can draw or write, but you don't touch the screen. AI robots. AI is artificial intelligence. It means that machines can learn. Scientists are trying to make robots act human. The robots will sense people nearby. They will talk to you. Human face, hands with sensors, computer monitor. Timeline, 500 BCE. The Chinese invent the first abacus, 1600s CE. The slide rule is invented by William Outred and others. 1801. Joseph Mary Jackward invents a weaving loom that uses punch cards. 1840s. Ada Lovelace writes the first computer code. It's for the analytical machine. Mid-1800s. Charles Babbage invents the analytical machine. 1936. Alan Turing explains how machines can run on digital code. 1939 to 1945. Codebreakers read secret messages during the World War II. 1960s. Businesses use mainframe computers. 1972. A video arcade game named Pong is released. Late 1970s. The Atari 2600 video game console is sold. 1980s. Personal computers are launched. 1999. Wi-Fi becomes the main way to search the internet. 2010s. People do lots of creative and practical things using supercomputers. Glossary. AI. Artificial intelligence that lets robots think. Cloud. A place where files are stored on the internet. Codebreaker. Someone who figures out secret code. Codebreaking machine. A machine that helps figure out code. Digital. On a computer information that is stored as zeros and ones. Engine. A machine that turns energy into action. Icons. Computer files that look like small pictures. You click on them to open. Mainframe. A large computer used in the 1950s and 1960s. Personal computer. PC. 
a small computer that you use at home. Punch card, a card punched with holes in a pattern. Punch cards were used to program mainframes. Sensors, devices that sense motion, heat, light, or sound. Video camera, a device that takes movies on a computer. Video game console, a machine for playing video games. Wi-Fi, a wireless way to connect to the internet. World War II, a war where lots of countries took sides and fought each other. It lasted from 1939 to 1945. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!